Hello everyone, we are solving problems on the basic concept. In the next question is, find E and I for the circuit shown in the figure below. This is the given circuit. If you observe here, here it is 2 amps. Here the current is leaving, here the current is entering. Where the current is entered passive element, that is positive terminal. And this is minus. Where the current is leaving the passive element, that is minus. Where the current is entering at the passive element, that is positive terminal. So here it is voltage plus and this is minus. Let it be V1. Now what is V1 by Ohm's law? What is V1? V1 is equal to IR. So current here it is 2 amps and resistance is 4. It is, it is equal to 8 volts. So V1 is equal to 8 volts. That means this is plus, this is minus is equal to 8 volts. Now let it be current I1 that is current flowing through the 1 ohm is I1 what is I1? I1 is equal to according to ohm's law V1 by R V1 is 8 volts here resistance is 1 ohm you get 8 amps now the current flowing through 2 ohms is let it be I2 by KCL what is I2? I2 is equal to this 2 amps plus this one I1 because here this is entering current, these two are leaving currents. So according to KCL, entering currents is equal to leaving currents. So this is I1 plus 2, 8 plus 2 is equal to 10 amps. Now, here current is leaving this passive element, here entering. So where the current is entered passive element, this is positive, this is negative. Let it be V2. Now what is V2? V2 is equal to I2 into 2 ohms. That is by Ohm's law. Again Ohm's law. I2 into 2. 10 into 2 is equal to 20 volts. Now, the voltage across this 8 ohm is, let it be V3. So by KVL, what is V3? V3 is equal to V2 plus V3. From this, what we are getting? V2 is 20 volts. V1 is 8 volts. So this is 28 volts. Now, the current flowing through 8 ohm is, let it be I3. Again by Ohm's law, what is I3? I3 is equal to V3 by R, V3 by 8. So, 28 by 8. You will get 3.5 amps. Now, this is current I. Apply KCL here. This is V3. So, we got V3 is 28 volts. So apply KCL at V3. What we are getting? The incoming current is I and leaving currents are I3 and I2. So I is equal to I3 plus I2. I3 is 3 amps and I2 is 10 amps. You will get 13 amps. So this is 3.5 amps. I3 is 3.5 amps. I2 is 10 amps. This is 13.5 amps. We got I is equal to 13.5 amps. Now, by KVL, or first find the voltage across this 2 ohm. Let it be V4. Current is enter here, so it is positive terminal. Current is leaving here, so it is negative terminal. Now, what is V4? V4 is equal to 2 into I. That is 2 into 13.5. This is 27 volts. Now, by KVL, what is E? This is plus. So, E is equal to, by KVL, E is equal to V4 plus V3. V4 plus V3. V4 plus V3. So, we got V4 is 27 volts and V3 is 28 volts. So what is E? E is equal to 55 volts. Next question is determine the VL for the segment shown below. VR is equal to 10 volts and VC of T is equal to 8 sin 2T volts. This is the given network. If you observe here, don't think this R and S are ground terminals because these are the separate nodes. Okay. If you think that this is ground, VC is equal to VL. 
so there is no meaning of this question so don't think like that these are the separate nodes now for this passive element here it is indicated that positive here this is negative positive means current should be enter here let it be ir current flowing through resistor is ir here the current this is plus so current should be enter here so current is il current flowing through inductor is il and let it be here this is plus so current should be enter here let it be ic now by kcl apply kcl at this node what we are getting these two currents are entering so this is ir 2 plus ir is equal to il plus ic in the problem what is given vr is equal to 10 volts now what is ir according to ohm's law vr by r this is 10 by 5 you get 2 amperes now vc of t is given 8 sin 2t volts from this what is ic of t ic of t is equal to c dvc of t by dt from this what is ic of t ic of t is equal to c value is 1 farad d by dt of 8 sin 2t if you derivate this you will get 16 cos 2t let it be equation 1 from 1 what you are getting 2 plus ir is 2 amps is equal to we need IL plus what is IC? 16 cos 2T. From this what is IL? IL is equal to 4 minus 16 cos 2T. Now what is the voltage across inductor? We know that VL of T is equal to or you can take this is IL of T. Let it be IL of T, IC of T whatever it may be same thing so vl of t is equal to l dil of t by dt so we got il of t is this one so l is 4 henry this is mentioned in the circuit so 4 into d by dt of 4 minus 16 cos 2t vl of t is equal to 0 minus 4 into 16 into minus 2 sin 2t so finally you got finally we got vl of t is equal to 128 sin 2t volts in the next video we will discuss some more problems thank you for watching